batch replace not one not two but three smart object layers automatically we will be creating wall art set with three artworks so the first step is to edit and modify your mockup template so i have opened my mockup template with three smart objects in photoshop next i'll go to the layers panel we have frames design this controls the design placement on all these three frames i'll ungroup this Further, we have more nested groups. This controls the left frame. The second group controls the center frame. And the last group controls the right frame. So I'll ungroup this. So we have this smart object layer. Double click thumbnail to edit. If I turn off the visibility, uh, this is the exact smart object layer that controls your design can. We'll go ahead and rename this as art2. I'll condense this group. Next, and open the other group. This controls the center frame. We'll double click on the text and rename this as Art1. Moving to the top group, I'll expand. And again, we have the same smart object layer. We'll rename this to Adderit Design. So we have three smart object layers and we have renamed the three smart object layer as Adderit Design, Art1, and Art2. Now, you go ahead and save this file Next, we'll prepare our design files. We have three smart object layer in this template. So we'll organize our design files into three distinct groups. So group one, which will lie outside the design folder. This six artwork will be placed in the smart object layer name at the end design. Then we have art one subfolder. It has six artwork. This six artwork will be placed in the smart object layer name art one. Then we have art two subfolder. Again, it has six artwork. These six artwork will be placed in the smart object layer named Art2. There are two important things that you need to keep in your mind. The smart object layer name and that subfolder name should exactly match, including spaces, small letters and capital letters. Next point is, you are supposed to rename your artwork files in a sequence. Just like over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then inside Art1 folder, we have the same naming convention 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And similarly in Art2 subfolder, we have same naming convention. Uh, what it does is uh, we can control that artwork 1.jpg, 1.jpg. These three artwork will be placed onto this template together. So we can define and control which artwork sets will be prepared. Next, let us jump onto bulk mockup plugin. First is the PST template folder. We'll select the template folder. Next, we'll select the design file folder. Remember, when we open this design files, we have two subfolders and six artwork outside those subfolders. If you are in Windows, you might not preview these six files, but just select the design file and click on open. Next, we have export folder. Next, I'll click on process multiple smart objects. When I click on multiple smart object, bulk mockup goes to this design file folder location and find out that there are two subfolders, which means this template that we is going to receive will have three smart object layers. Now I'll resize Photoshop. So I'll click on start generating and the magic will start. 